So it's that time of year we're doing an annual inspection on the Super Decathlon. It's a great time to get in and look at some of the cool features of it. So one of my favorite things that's unique to an aerobatic airplane is the inverted oil system. So normally airplanes don't have a system like this, so if you were to take them upside down, the oil pump can't pump air. So the engine eventually loses oil flow and that can cause all kinds of problems for it. So what we have is what's called a Christian inverted oil system. The same people make the Christian Eagle. So the way this one works is we take our oil pan down here, or what we call the oil sump, and the oil sump lives down here within the oil pan, and we add an external component to it. So normally what's going on here is we have this hose right here that leads up into the oil pan. Sorry you can't really see it, but it's it's all the way up in here. So that brings unpressurized oil into the first portion of our inverted oil system. So within here we have two ball valves, one at the top, one at the bottom, and right now the one at the bottom is all the way bottomed out, and the one at the top is stopped right about here, which blocks off this upper portion, which is part of the inverted system. So what it's doing right now is allowing oil to flow in through the bottom part and out through the middle part. This middle tube then runs up into, let's see if I can show you where it's at. Right here, if you can see my finger. So that goes into the oil sump where the oil pump can then pressurize it and send that oil throughout the whole engine, wherever it needs to go. Now, if we take the engine upside down, that takes all of our bottom components and puts them at the top, which means all the oil is not there. So that means all the oil comes to the top of the engine. And normally what we have up at the top is our oil breather, and that's right up here. And normally that's just there to vent the crankcase. If we take this airplane upside down, we don't want that oil to then rush out this breather tube, so we collect it. So we run it through this tube here and into our air and oil separator, and that allows the air and oil to separate, just as the name implies and the air can vent out this bottom tube and out the bottom of the, the belly of the plane. Now when we go upside down, this becomes the new bottom of the engine. So we take our oil, it's running up through this tube, and we put a T in here. So we're taking the oil out of here, which remember, this is now the bottom of the engine, and we're running this tube down here, this out of the way, so we have this Kind of hard to see it's this metal tube right down here this metal tube comes down into our the valve has a name I have no idea what it's called now when the airplane is upside down the ball that right now is sitting here becomes up at the top the one that's normally sitting down here blocks off the slower parts and oil can now flow from what is essentially the bottom back into the engine and be pressurized and once we do that, we can run the engine indefinitely upside down. 